and death breathe that and feel the breath that you could take it into your left seat bone your right seat bone out through your core and just sink a little bit more into your knees as you breathe out okay so good yeah and feel the stretch when you're riding you want to Lengthen, remember the horse, lengthen the outer and release the inner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just the ground and just feel your energy down. Just shake your wrists out. Light, feel very light. Feel, feel very okay. grounded yeah. Yeah. and very light in your limbs. Yeah. So your, your arms, just swing, actually, this is a photo. <laughs> you, if you just swing your arms, then you actually go to put the foot on a step. What yeah. happens? You elevate yeah. through the upper body. Yeah. Now, you, you have, when you're riding, your legs are just breathing legs around the horse. But when you're trying to collect and rebalance, this feeling of, of elevation through the upper body is what you need. Okay. I find when I'm collecting the horse, I breathe in to stabilise, and then it's the energy outwards, the, the elevation comes with the outward breath up and it's the same in loose work you know we said with the horse yeah yeah okay it's that force of energy which is very natural okay, so that that's... goes towards the horse but instead of him being loose it's actually you're, you're yeah. connecting the same way okay. from his back so... I, i'm the horse that's going to pull you okay okay so just go back into your basic position okay and, I, and i'm a horse that's going to pull you okay little, little pull i'm going to pull you too hard Ah, okay. So it needs to be... That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. if you're not in balance, when I pull, you just sort of go forward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But then, if you just go down there now, to your knees, yeah. feet parallel, the whole thing has to go roots up. It's really important. Sink your weight down there. Yeah. And just tell me when you've got that feel of core connection, light arm, that the inward breath is lengthening your back, and then breathe out. Thumb on top as if it's a rain and rounded, when you're riding, rounded wrists. Like, like ooh. If you're riding a bill, <laughs> feel my wrist. Okay, yeah. So lighter. 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 Much lighter. Mm -hmm. Light and, and my arm, feel that the weight? There. Yeah. That's what's... Yeah, okay. You close your fingers if you need to, like with my stew, you've got to close your fingers. But that's what you're aiming for, that yeah. kind of right there. Okay. okay? Yeah. I stretch the elbows out and let me see that you've got enough energy here that your energy can lift, elevate so you're not trapping your body at the front. Good, that's it, that's it. Now out, breathe out. So on top of the rain. Now breathe in. Now breathe in and try and, stay, try and trap the, yeah. stabilise and you're saying to the horse you're with your inward breath, Come back yeah. to me, breathe in, solid walk. Yes, 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 and again. Yeah. Breathe out. Breathe in, release, feel the core release with the outward breath. Now breathe in. A little bit more weighted. Weighted. This is where you almost need to think you're going to sit on that, and this is how you need to be in the saddle, as if you're going to just sit down on a chair. Okay. Good, that's it. Now breathe in. Yes. Yay!